Hey guys, it is Patrick. Oh my gosh, this is my first freaking cooking video in my new kitchen, in my new apartment. I am so excited. Today we're gonna be like cooking, but not really like cooking. We know my Starbucks addiction. Today is August 16th. I don't know when you're watching this, so you do you. Today's August 16th, which means in What is 25 minus 16? Nine days. You know what's being released? You know, I know you know. The Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte. Do you even know the cultural impact this drink has on my life and the lives of so many others? Do you? I think you better learn. Cause guess what we're making today? A DIY Starbucks Iced Pumpkin Spice Latte at home. That's why it's a DIY at home. I am so excited to make this drink. I'm not a barista, but I'm a barista. Um, never been employed as a barista, but because I love Starbucks so much, I feel like I know exactly how to make these drinks because I go so often. But I don't want to wait nine days until I get my hands on a pumpkin spice latte. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it DIY at home. I pulled up a recipe I found on the interwebs from hillbillyhousewife.com, um, me. So uh, I will leave it linked down below. You guys need to try this out too. A Starbucks expecting me to wait nine days to have this drink, and now I can have it year round. I don't have to wait for you, Starbucks. Catch up. Okay, honestly, why don't they have it on their menu year round? Okay, so what you're gonna need to make this recipe for yourself is milk, pumpkin puree, honey, sugar, or low calorie sweetener, vanilla extract, pumpkin spice mint, half a cup of strong coffee, iced, ice, whipped cream, and a dash of pumpkin spice mix. So those are the ingredients you're gonna need if you wanna make this. Again, I will have the recipe linked down below. And let's get on with the recipe. So step one is brew your coffee and allow it to cool. You can use one or two shots of espresso instead of coffee if you like. Um, so about this. I don't know how to make espresso. I'm a barista. I do know how to make coffee. Do I want to make coffee? No, I'm a barista. The grocery stores now are so advanced. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I am using the Stoke, Stock, Stoke, cold brew coffee, bold and smooth, unsweet black. You can pick it up at the grocery store, Walmart, Target, whatever grocery store you want. Pick it up. You don't have to do any brewing. You don't have to do any cold brewing. You don't have to do any French pressing. We don't have time for that. So just pick this up. You get a giant bottle and this recipe only calls for half a cup. So you can make a lot of drinks out of this. Step two, heat the milk, pumpkin puree, and honey or sugar in a small saucepan until everything is well blended. Heat the milk. This is an ice drink. I mean, okay. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do that. Instead of cow milk, because who are you if you still use cow milk? We are going to use organic soy milk. But seriously, if you aren't using like oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, instead of regular milk, who are you? So I have my one cup of organic soy milk. I'm going to need pumpkin puree, honey, and sugar. Got the sugar? Pumpkin puree. Be right back. <laughs> And we are back with the saucepan and the pumpkin puree. I'm not using honey. You can use honey, but the bees, but the bees. So I'm gonna need one cup of soy milk. So I'm gonna pour one cup of soy milk into the saucepan. Then it says add one tablespoon of pumpkin puree and one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar, that is a lot. This is going into one drink. Okay. How do I even, am I doing this right? Oh my gosh, I think it's working. What the heck? It's like, oh. 
I don't think I got any metal in here, so we're good. I'm gonna need one tablespoon of pumpkin puree. Speaking of pumpkin puree, allegedly the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte does not have any pumpkin in it. Just let that sink in. Again, this is all alleged. Starbucks, do not sue me. Um, this is all alleged. But we're putting real pumpkin in ours, y'all. So we're gonna heat this in a saucepan, which I still don't get. This is an iced drink, but we're gonna heat it. Um, but we're gonna trust Hillbilly Housewife on this one. So I just, yeah, I'm just gonna heat this on low. I don't want this to get, can I just stir it? Wait, okay, this is a question for all you like chemistry majors out there. Does it need to be heated for the sugar to dissolve or can you just stir it? Ooh, it's getting like bony. I don't wanna be messing with the stove. This is an iced drink. I think sugar can dissolve in like cold stuff. It smells like pumpkin. Okay. Okay, add vanilla and pumpkin spice and stir until well combined. Allow this mixture to cool a bit as well. It's already chilled, hillbilly housewife. Calm down. So I'm gonna need one tablespoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of vanilla and one drink, pop off. And then a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin spice mix. Okay, so we're gonna trust this recipe for once and add a tablespoon. A bit a lot. That sounded like so much. And this has alcohol in it, so. Okay. And then, because this is pumpkin spice, so we obviously need pumpkin spice. I don't really know what's in this. Cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and sulfiting agents. What? So we got some secret agents in our pumpkin spice. Love that. And I would assume this is pretty strong, so that's why it's only a quarter of a teaspoon. Boop. So we're going to stir this until well combined. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells like pumpkin freaking pie. Mm -hmm. Fill a large glass with ice, pour the coffee in, and top with the milk mixture. Add a bit of whipped cream and sprinkle with a pumpkin pie. Spice. Because this is a pumpkin spice latte coffee cup from Starbucks, we gotta use the Starbucks cup. Now you know Starbucks is like 90% ice, 10% drink, so that's the equation I'm using today. Okay, and this is half a cup of coffee. This is the coffee. This is the coffee to milk ratio I like. 90% milk. 10% coffee. So this cup is filled with ice. I'm gonna pour half a cup of coffee into it. And then it says to pour the milk mixture on top. Ooh. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. I really just did that. So then it says to top it with some whipped cream. Oh my gosh, yes. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm a barista. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some pumpkin spice on top. <gasps> this looks actually professional. Look at this, okay. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You can taste the pumpkin in here, what the heck? So I just did that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I will be making a lot more Starbucks coffee cat recipes in the future. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.